Hey everyone, so we are back to Bear Canyon and we're gonna find some awesome stuff. But we have company, it's 406 Findings. And then over the rock, we've got Kate from Katie did uh, hiding in the bushes. <laughs> we go down a little bit. There she is. <laughs> so yeah, we uh, are set up and we're digging and check out what Travis found already. Ooh, buddy. That is what we're here for. Fancy fortification. That is a really nice one. All right, so let's get back to digging. All right, guys, so I moved to a different spot because I was not finding much over there. And yeah, we we're finally starting to see some goodness. This one's got really nice crystals and some bands in there. That'll be a good one to cut. But I actually am not digging over here anymore. I'm digging over here. Sorry, moving my camera. <laughs> eh. Right over here. So I found a new vein that we're going to exp explore. We'll explore the vein. And then Alexis found this. Look at that fortification agate with Druzy. Very pretty. And I found this, which is going to be stunning once it gets cleaned up. Beautiful crystals. I see a little lavender tone and fortifications. So yeah, we are back on the good spot. So let us begin the digging. See, there's a nice one right there. I think anyway, I'm gonna need both hands. I just wanted to show you guys really quick. Well, maybe, yeah, yeah, definitely gonna need both hands. Dude, check out that crazy calcite geode I just found. That is a little bit awesome. I like it. And then here is the other side. Ooh, shade actually shows it better. The <laughs> sun is just a little too bright. All right, we're at another new spot. Um, the other spot we were finding stuff, but not really what I wanted to see. So I came back to Old Faithful. This spot is great. And I think this is where we were at last time. So yeah, let's just settle in and dig and stuff. And that right there is why I call this hole Old Faithful. Because there's one right here and then another one right here. So yeah, let's start hammering on that, see if we can get it out. All right, guys, check this out. Look at how big this agate is and it's still just not even moving and then right next to that one is another big one right here and there's another one right here and then there's a super decayed one right here i actually see a little crystal pocket yeah see <laughs> it's actually amethyst wow that's really really pretty all right well let's put that in the keeper pile and try to get this out all right there's that decayed one that is so nice it's going to be even better after an acid bath. Those crystals are amazing. Might be forts. Don't know, honestly. I haven't even investigated that far. I just saw the crystals and got happy. This one, though, I think does have some fortifications, potentially. Uh, not really, but it's still cute. All right, that first big one just popped out. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be pretty good, I think. Looks like there's more right behind it. And there's another big one right here. Hmm. We got this one out. We got this one out. We got this one out. And we got this one out. So I'm going to fish my way out of this hole. And then we're going to split a few. Digging laying down is tiring. I think actually it's exhausting because I've just been on my stomach like all day digging up. Okay, so I wanted to test how good some of these are. Some of them I could already see that is gonna be nice. So we're gonna just take that to Kim's, I think. Cut it, save this one for cutting. But one thing with their canyons is that they're not all great like these. They could be nice and big and wonderful, or they could just be big duds. So I'm going to split them really quick. Come on, brother, split. You know what? I chucked a chisel at you. You did chuck a chisel at me. Dude, that is dead. Oh, wow, okay. I see goodness. Ooh. 
That's a big old hole. Yeah, that's a big deal. Are you recording? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Yeah. That's a geode. <laughs> All right, I'm excited to get into that. Yeah, there's some nice crystals. Sweet. Okay. There's one good one. Um. Yeah. Wait, right, we're not breaking that open though? We can, I guess. Do it. <laughs> Wow. That's beautiful. Those are little amethyst crystals. Totally purple. And lots of little geodes. Oh, look at this. Those are all quartz crystals, but they're covered in druzy. Is it sparkling for you? Yes, I think it is. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm happy. Okay, I'm good. happy you're happy. I'm happy that you're happy that I'm happy. Okay, so this one, we, I decided to see if I could get deeper into that pocket. Well, we failed to get deeper into the pocket, but we did open up a new pocket. That is a freaking cool specimen. So I'm going to cut it and just shave that face, polish it, have two nice, beautiful, different colored geode pockets. That's awesome. I only got one with some good fortifications. That is going to be a beautiful polish, I think. Is it focused? Okay, let me get it wet again. It's so hot, it's drying off really quick. There we go. That's super pretty. In a druzy pocket. We couldn't see it at first. We thought you were crazy. Yeah, I think I had it angled like right where the glare. Beautiful. This is very nice, yes. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. All right, guys, I think we were about to call it. It is getting hot. We did some good digging though. We got some really good stuff. I'm sorry I did not record more. Uh, I did forgot my helm, my helm. My helmet mount is what I was about to say. The, the helmet mount that I wear on my hat, which is not a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> and my tripod, so I couldn't really record a whole lot. But yeah, uh, we'll definitely be cutting and polishing some, like this one that I just showed you guys. Definitely gonna polish that one. Probably cut some, but we'll definitely clean some up with acid and stuff. But yeah, I'm just happy. Happy to get into some nice stuff. So yeah, I will see you guys at the bottom of the hill. Okay, well we are back down to the car and we may not have been finding a whole lot of forts, but man, Travis was killing it today. That thing is gonna be so nice. Hopefully it keeps uh, going all the way through it. Yeah, it should. You that know? should just be the beginning. <laughs> yeah, because it just barely broke it. I'm thinking if you cut it like right here, there should be a nice, big, gorgeous, amazing pocket in there. Good. No, I'm gonna glue it back together. <laughs> <laughs> Screw cutting it. All right, guys. Well, that is gonna do it for this one. Um, Kate already left because she was uh, feeling the heat like crazy, apparently. We just saw her down at the car and she waved goodbye. So we're like, okay. <laughs> but Kate, we hope you're better and we love you. And Travis, dude, killing it today. <laughs> you got right on the, the best pocket. Like, look at those geodes just sparkling away. So pretty. Yeah, you were working one heck of a pocket. So, dude, thanks so much for coming out with us. Um, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, of course, man. And Show the moment, you, the moment the river is down, we are going. Back back at it. Oh yeah, absolutely. There's like 20 pounders calling our name. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Especially after the torrent that the river has been lately, <laughs> dude. There's some nice agates just waiting to be found. All right, well, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one. I will see you all back at the shop where we'll cut and and or polish. Definitely acid though. Alrighty, we are back to the shop. I've got everything out and cleaned off. Um, I really wanted to do some cutting in this video, uh, but the weather is definitely not gonna cooperate and I do. I need to get this video out is what I'm trying to say, I guess. <laughs> so we're gonna polish a few, I think, and we're gonna do the muriatic acid cleaning because some of them are gonna transform like crazy. Um, I promise there's gonna be a cutting video coming very, very soon. The weather just has to cooperate because it's either like, oven hot or raining so as soon as we get a window i will go out and do some cutting but anyway i'm rambling let's uh get the acid out and ready to melt some calcite
Okay, well I just threw in two big mystery uh, filled in geodes that I think are gonna be phenomenal, but they're gonna take a while. So while we're waiting on those, why don't we uh, polish some rocks? Mm. Let's start with this one right here. We're gonna start with this one right here because I already started on this one right here. You know what, while I'm on my lowest grit, I'm gonna just start shaping the other ones that I'm gonna work on. So next, it's gonna be this one right here, which is shrouded in dark. Sorry, I figured you might wanna see it before. <laughs> That'd be this one right here. Okay, so we've got our faces roughed in. So they're all ready to go with polish. So I'm just gonna go through all of them. So no need to stop. I'm doing the same thing four times. So yeah, might as well just. Okay, I've done all the work I feel like doing. So, let's get some close -ups. Okay, so these are my favorite ones that came out of the acid bath. So this is that one I showed at the very end, um, filled with calcite. And I'm so happy I put it into the acid because those crystals are just outstanding. Look at that color. That is gorgeous. Another one of my favorites was this one because I was not expecting the quartz to be so clean. So nice. Um, where's the other one? This one right here. Uh, where's my water? There's my water, sorry. Has amazing crystals, but the exciting part is the banding all the way around it. Like what? That's gorgeous. I love that so, so much. And then here's another one I put in the acid. So actually little lavender amethyst crystals. Ah, oh, they're so nice. Bunch of black druzy in this one. I love those things. They really never get old. Okay, so next would be the ones that we polished. And that is these beauties right here. Here's number one. Came out so well. Love those little banded pockets. Took a really nice polish too. Yeah, I really love this stuff. I, my camera probably won't be able to get close enough, but there's actually some nice fortifications in there. This one, I didn't know what to expect, so I think it came out really nice. Considering I had like zero expectations. Love that little Jersey pocket. But this is the one that I had my my bets on being really, really nice. And yeah, it's really, really nice. <laughs> Never seen orange in the fortifications before. That's awesome. And again, a nice little Jersey pocket filled with felt. So I need to get that cleaned out still. But man, that is gorgeous. Again, really nice polish. Fortunately, a lot of these are super fractured, but you know what? It's it's all good. It's still worth it. Then we got this big one. Not a whole lot to say, because it needs to get cut before it's gonna look good, but I see promise. And that's like not a little agate. That's gonna be good. All right, and then these were my favorite finds of the day. We've got this crazy geode right here. Again, those are all little tiny amethyst crystals. And there's some fortifications around that. I, there is some mineral growth inside of there. Some really weird calcite growth, but I actually really like it. I don't want to get rid of that. I think it looks so cool. Look at the sparkle. That's such a deep pocket. I think we're going to wait until I can get these to a saw so that I can level the face and then polish both sides. That's awesome. This is crazy. So when we found this one, it looked like this. Completely filled in with calcite. I didn't know what to expect, but I figured it might still be somewhat decent. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty, pretty uh, happy with that. <laughs> Again, that was completely filled in level. I was not expecting crystals like that. That's insane. There's actually some really big points in there. Oh, that's amazing. And this was totally my favorite vine of the day. That'd be this awesome double-sided geode. This pocket is so deep. So we may uh, take this to a saw so we can cut it like right here 
get into this pocket more and level the faces and then polish it. That is a gorgeous specimen. guys i think that is going to do it for this one man what a fun day it was super hot and slow start but man we got into some really good stuff travis was pulling fantastic stuff all day long <laughs> i'm sorry i did not have time to do it in this video but uh keep your eyes out for a cutting video coming very very soon um i've been wanting to do it for a while it's just my schedule and the temperature and the weather has just not been cooperating make sure you go subscribe to 406 findings and Katie did rocks. I'll have links down in the description. Sorry if this video bounced around a lot. It probably didn't look like it just because of the way that I edited it and the way that I filmed, but I was digging for like a good three or four hours before I actually found a pocket that I wanted to set up at. <laughs> and yeah, I'm sure you could tell at that last pocket that yeah, I was, I was pretty worn out at that point. Also, I really still, I've made many videos at Bear Canyon before and I'm still trying to figure out like the best way to record there because when you're down in a hole with very little room it's really hard to record so yeah i'm sorry about that there wasn't more actual like digging footage but i'll bring my tripod next time it'll it'll be better uh let me know which find was your favorite there are plenty of options in this one. i'll have links to various stuffs up in the description and yeah i think that is going to do it for this one i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you next time